Okay, good morning everyone. Today I want to do a bit of demonstration on the digital side of dentistry using the Ceramil Mine software from Armand Gearbuck to do a case, uh, a simple case of how we import an intraoral scan STL file to the software and how the software uses artificial intelligence to create a crown and how we can form the crown according to our needs. Okay, so this is the software, Ceramel Mind is the design software. I can show you a bit on the other side. There is Ceramel Match. Ceramel Match is the nesting software here. And Ceramel Motion is the software to run the Ceramel Motion machine, the milling machine. It's a five axis hybrid machine, okay? But today what I'll be talking about is the Ceramel Mind, which is the design software. Okay, so here you see there is scan mode and in order to import the intraoral scan, we have to use the intraoral scan file. Okay, that's important because they have the workflow of how to import it. We choose our client and here we can just use default and for the name we can use this. You can always add a new one if you need to, but I'll just be using the one that's already there. Okay, and choose again the technician. You can add again the technician here if you need. Okay, just press new. Okay. And you choose 001, just in case. And you can write some notes in case you wanna say something for the case. Okay. And you see here there's a there's a mock-up. It says mock-up here. Um, and it shows there are 48 teeth, right? So that's your lower jaw and this is your upper jaw. And I know the case that I want to do is the target teeth is a number 16 where I want to place the crown. So the crown has been prepared by the handpiece and you want to uh, simulate the crown now from the scanned file using the intraoral scanner. So you would press this. Okay, give it a sec. Okay, and then you see there are, there are menus here of what you need to choose. And we would use anatomic crown for this right and then you see there's a choice of material now so this will this will affect your material choice and you have to you have to write down here you have to choose on what blank you're gonna be using during your milling so there is FX and Gen X and then the new one is Bayon so basically some materials have better strength but if you have a good strength you will be sacrificing your translucency but if uh, some materials have better translucency, so more aesthetic, but then you will be sacrificing your strength. I believe the Gen X is the strong one with less aesthetics, and FX is the one with more aesthetic but less strength. And Bayon is the newest one from Armand Gierbach. So that would be better strength and better aesthetics. So let's just use Bayon for example here, okay? And then this is if you want to do some implants or not, but here you can also uh, adjust the gap width of the cement and the minimal thickness of the crown itself. And here you choose the color. Let's say we want to do an A2 color. Okay. You press OK. Yeah. Okay. Then you have to choose the scan mode again. And then you press save. It will save the case. Give it a sec. It's the loading. So now you can see that the software choices on the right upper corner is already white, which means we're able to press it. Let's go to the mind here. Okay. It's loading. Okay, and maybe this is, okay. This is uh, the part where you import the files, the raw files of the intraoral scanner. So you see there's an upper jaw loads jaw scan. So you choose your intraoral scan file and I have it here, Armand Gearbuck, Armand Gearbuck practice files. And then we go and see the intraoral scan. iOS import files, 
okay and you choose the upper jaw scan okay that's your upper jaw and then you would choose your lower jaw because that's what they're telling you to choose okay your lower jaw so upper jaw is yellow and purple is your lower jaw okay okay see here adjust scan data orientation so you want the scan data to be facing you the occlusal side and usually they they do this by software and they get it done pretty well if there are adjustments to be done you can use your mouse and right click and you can turn it a bit but i don't usually do that because i see that they do a pretty good job of orienting orient orienting it just press next here okay they are preparing the scan data and there are okay 3d data editor select straight through this one you don't have to worry too much i think we just go next usually do not modify the scan data okay and this is the part where you have to detect the margin this is important because yeah because uh to know to know the uh for the software to know uh where to place the crown and at which side to place the crown how big the crown should be it needs a margin definition so you see here 216 right that's what they're asking for and that's the that's the one we have defined we could have defined also to uh 14 for example here but just for this trial i'm just gonna be doing a 216 okay here i would use correct and then just choose magnetic and using your right uh, right click you can while holding the right click and moving your mouse around you can orientate the picture and then clicking both the left and right mouse wheel would be moving the picture yeah okay uh, oh. let me start defining the crown margin here okay just, just press I think we need to fix this on later. Oh, I did a mistake because I have pressed it just now. Give me a sec, I clear it first. I think it's better if I clear the margin. Okay, now let's start again. Just correct that again, okay. This is... Oh, oh, maybe it's better if I go from the other side. Give me a second. Yeah, here is easier. We can turn the tooth around later. Okay, now you would need to turn because your view is already obstructed at that point. Okay, and make sure you meet the lines again. Okay, and there we go. That's our margin. In case there are some areas that need to be fixed, you can just drag the balls around, the points. Okay. Ah, like this, you see? Not good because... They're overlapping each other. Now I'll create a problem later. This margin detection should not be difficult. It depends on how well the tooth was prepared. So like here, I would drag it up because that's way too far down. But this should be a better process than this because, as I said, depends on the dentist's preparation skills. Maybe this is a practice file so it wasn't well prepared. Like this is gonna go too far in. We don't want the crown going that far inside. Okay. I think that should be okay. Yep, for margin definition, then we go next. Okay, insertion direction, important also you want them to understand where you're gonna be inserting the crown from let's say well this tooth is straight up right so you would insert it from the top and i think that's pretty good already so let's not mess with that you could always change the insertion direction if you need to like so but here i think this is already very good see that okay we go next 
and a lot of the steps are actually guided by the AI and the software itself so that you know it shows that designing a CAD CAM uh, case is not as difficult as people think it's more on trying and always trying so here you could adjust the distance of the free margin you could make it smaller like so or you could make it bigger I don't usually play around with this too much we can go next Okay, and this is the part where they are actually simulating your crown. They're making a crown here. See, see that the antagonist was just shown. Mm -hmm. Ooh, see that? Not good. So this crown is way too uh, far down, right? So we would bring it up like so, and we can rotate the crown too because this is not ideal I think oh see that it's moved too far out okay and we have to rotate this a bit like so rotate is using control and then to drag it up you would just use your mouse okay so make sure the yellow part is covering all of the purple part because that's your natural tooth and you can you can get rid of your surroundings so a is antagonist you can press a to show your antagonist to show if you're actually hitting the antagonist tooth or not i think i am still a bit and then for s is to get rid of your surroundings okay let me use the s and get rid of the antagonist just for a second and it does take time to do this of course okay see even though i've gotten it no you see compared to the compared to tooth number 17 it's not oriented oriented correctly yet try oriented properly like so okay i think that's much better Okay, much better I think and um, something else I want to do is freeform here so that's this tooth transformation scale directional I would want to scale this a bit by pressing shift that's the whole tooth or you can scale just part of the tooth so let's see here I think we can just scale the this part press that first and then you would form it scale it outwards okay yeah like so and then this part we can scale a bit here also and this part also has to be scaled right and uh, yeah you would move it a bit just to make it symmetric see this part is still with purple that's not good we want to get rid of that we want to scale it using oh a sec oh wait how is this going oh there we go okay you don't have to press shift in this one okay see that there are no overlapping that's good and then let's see with the antagonist is it hitting looks all right to me maybe bring it down a bit just a bit that side okay this side also bring down a bit oh not too much okay let's say this case is done and I wanna ask yeah and you see that these parts are not smooth they're still well you can see there's still a lot of uneven parts that can be solved later on this is more on the general shape of the tooth all those rough patches can be shaped later on in the next part or a few steps after 
Let's see them calculate this first. Yeah. Okay. Still, see? This is the part I'm talking about. Free form. You can smoothen, you can add or remove. So I like to smooth out this part. And to do that, you would use, just press the mouse here. Okay. Um, and make sure to choose your brush size. If you want to use a smaller brush size, it will be more fine. We'll give an example of the small one here. See, there we go. Smoothening it. You see that? Of course, it will fit in the mouth no matter what you do, but this is to make it even smoother. I would do that. Something like this. This part still very... Yeah. Yeah. And I think the dental technicians are much better at this because they should know how the tooth anatomy should be the best way. Don't want to smoothen it out too much because you will get rid of the sh cusp. But at least for this edges, you would want to smooth it out. Like so. Okay. If you want to add something, I will give an example just to show. Okay. You add by pressing and you remove by shift. So let's say I add some here. See? See that or let's say I add a bigger chunk there we go you would always need to smoothen it out using this okay and don't play around with it too much because it will be too big otherwise okay just to show the free forming tool there and I next static occlusion proximal don't worry about it too much we just go next and that's it. The crown has been made using the Arman Gearbox software. Of course, this is not a perfect crown. It was just a demonstration. As I said, it all depends on the neatness of the intraoral scan file, which is affected by your preparation. You see here, all the edges are so uh, untidy. I think that is because of the intraoral scan file. Yeah. And after this, you would need to nest the, 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 the tooth because the blanks come in circular shapes and you have to use as much of the circular blanks as possible. So let's say one blank can fit 30 tooth. You would need to put, you need to place this on the blanks uh, and orientate them so that next time you can still use the blanks. For other cases and not waste too much of the empty spaces yeah we proceed to production i think that is a that is a brief introduction of the arman gearbox software and you this comes with your this is the match uh, software and this yeah see and this comes with your uh, ceramil, ceramil motion machines if you buy one from us you will get the software the the design software the nesting software the ceramil match the software to run the machines the ceramil map for the scanner and ceramil motion for the uh, milling machine yes and I hope this session has helped on giving a brief introduction of the general process of how a design software works. I will mention one more thing. This uh, Ceramel Mind is actually ExoCAD based. So for those of you who are familiar with ExoCAD, you could see that it's not too difficult to adapt yourself and the workflow from ExoCAD because it's all based on the same software. Okay, that, that is it from me. I hope this has helped and I'll see you in the next video.